What's going on guys? This is Aaron. This channel is called Hotel Delta, bringing you all things two wheels with an emphasis in Harley Davidson's. And today I have a rare opportunity. I have a brand new 2022 Pan America S. It's identical to my bike in every way. So I'm going to do a side by side comparison, show you what I've done to my bike and try to explain why I did it. Have any questions, comment below, please like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next ride. All right, so we get the stock 2022 Pan America S. Again, brand new. This bike is sold, but has not been delivered yet. So what's the difference between that bike and my bike? Obviously, even the same color. Both bikes have the mag wheels as opposed to the spokes. Both bikes do have adaptive ride height. So as far as all the options, everything is the same. All right, so let's start with what is different on my bike. Obviously, I have the sport bags. I've done that in another video, but the reason I've chose the sport bags over any of the hard origin mounted bags is just the ease of use. They pop on super easy, pop off, literally take these bags off in, you know, 15, 20 seconds. And again, super easy to use, very handy. Haven't had any issues with them so far. Um, anybody that has these bags that have done the key locks, the key locks a little bit of pain in the butt, but there's a couple of really good videos out there that you can watch, walk you through it. Um, this bike internally does have the high flow air cleaner. I did do the taller risers. So that's what the taller risers look like, as opposed to the stock risers. Some stuff we just added yesterday. Headlight cover, so that's the headlight cover and stock. The stock radiator. And then the radiator cover. This is the new skid plate. As opposed to the stock skid plate. And on the exhaust side, the skid plate definitely comes back and up a little bit higher. Toast exhaust. Stock exhaust. Not really much else other than that. I do have some other goodies that are on the way. And we do have the knee protectors on the tank. So again, stock knee protectors. Uh, other things I've ordered that are on the way, I am getting some Denali lights. Um, nothing crazy, I'm just doing the blinkers front and rear. And the main reason I'm doing that is just the overall profile from the rear. That brake light just doesn't do a whole lot. So I'm gonna change out these to the Denali lights and they'll be the three-way where they do the uh, brake light, blinker, and running lights. And then the fronts will be the switch backs. So as opposed to having these, they'll be the, uh, the white running light and then the amber blinker. All right, guys, just wanted to go over a couple more things real quick um, about the install on the items we just put together. So that'd be the headlight cover, radiator cover, and then the new skid plate. The skid plate is just six bolts. Got one here, four up underneath, and obviously one more on the other side. I will say that thing was like a perfect fitment. I didn't have any issues putting that on at all. Did it in the parking lot in, uh, you know, 10 minutes. Super easy. This thing, same thing as a couple bolts up here. That's it on that one. A couple little hooks that go around the bottom part of the radiator. That was a super easy install. Out of all of them, this one's probably the most tedious. You got to pull the whole shroud out. Um, actually, let me do that real quick. Let's do a quick edit. As you can see, there's a couple pieces of uh, metal on the inside. So basically that grid is just sandwiched in between the actual fairing. So there's uh, a couple little pieces of foam they give you that go behind it so you're not scratching up the paint or anything. Um, definitely kind of tedious. They got these little spacers on the inside and that's what uh, makes it kind of a pain. But uh, again, it's pretty easy, maybe 15 minutes. Doesn't take too much time and uh, get you going again. Yeah, so guys, all, all those installs, very simple. Um, 
you can install all three of those in I mean about 30 minutes the one thing that kind of surprised me the torque value on these bolts is fairly low I want to say it was like 17 to 20 foot pounds um, the size of the bolt I, I was kind of surprised that it was that low so keep that in mind if you guys have any questions please comment below like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next ride